evening. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good, good to see everybody. Everybody. God bless you. And look at our leaders. Our leaders. We're going to do this song in a month. Lord, I want to live for thee. And, and then after that, the next song. Sister June, you're doing the second song? Okay. Then, and the last song. Come on. Okay. Last song. Scriptures. Scriptures. Okay. Vic, well, Victor. Good. Victor. Scripture from Martin. And this is June doing the sec second song. We're not going to leave any, any spaces in, in there. When you leave spaces, people mind wonder, right? That's right. <laughs> that's, that's right. That was your, let me say this, because this is a teaching. To, that was your idea Sunday was, when I said, this why going to sing? What, 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 was, what, what all that movement was back there? Supposed to just go on sing, right? You know, somebody wanted to be saved, they couldn't have gotten saved. They, they were called sort of choir moving. Them, yeah, just, just saying. Be, be, be in place. Have the song ready. Be in place. Just saying. If you're not already drooped, don't try to droop it. After the invitation, right? That's just teaching, right? That's just, are y'all hearing me? What choir members? Are? Raise your hand. All right. What'd you say? All right, don't y'all do that moving again. Just, just say, saying, saying. Amen. Be, be ready, be ready. Pray about it. And the Holy Spirit will move. God bless you. Lord, I want to live for thee.
joy in their land. Nothing but joy in their land. It's nothing but joy in their land. Where I'm bound, where I'm bound. It's nothing but joy. you want to go to that land? Don't you want to go to that land? Oh, don't you want to go to that land? Where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Oh, don't you want to go to that land? Don't you want second chapter, the 21st through the 24th verse. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman. And he brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Shall she be called a woman because she was taken out of a man? Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and he shall cling unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. I read Genesis, the second chapter, the 21st through 24th verse. Amen. Let us pray, please. Dear Heavenly Father, God of all gods, King of all kings, Lord, we come before you this evening just to say thank you and praise your holy name. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to assemble here this evening. We thank you, the Heavenly Father, for our pastor who will bring us the lesson, the Heavenly Father. We thank you for blessing his family. We thank you, the Heavenly Father, for blessing Elizabeth Baptist Church and all the churches in the land, the Heavenly Father. We thank you, the Heavenly Father, for wherever we assemble in your name. For those, the Heavenly Father, who would like to be here and can't be here, Lord, give them the opportunity. Lord, and I thank you this evening for allowing me to be able to stand here and praise your holy name. Lord, it's by your grace and mercy that we've come this far, Lord. Lord, we need you. You're the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. You're the God who sent your only begotten son who came to the earth, walked this earth as a man, the Heavenly Father, healed the sick, raised the dead, yes, made yes. the blind see the Heavenly Father. Yes, and Lord, you're still with us today, the Heavenly yes. Father. We thank you, Jesus, for giving up, shedding your precious blood, dying on that cross so that we may have a right to eternal life, the yes. Heavenly Father. We thank you, Father, for awakening our Lord and Savior on that third day, the Heavenly Father, and he arose with all power in his hand. Yes, Lord, we yes. thank you this evening for the day of Pentecost, Dear Heavenly Father, we can be filled with the Holy Spirit, Lord. Yes, yes. We know, dear Heavenly Father, that you are able. Yes. Lord, we pray this evening for the sick and shut in. Yes. We pray, dear Heavenly Father, for those who don't know you for the pardoning of their sins, dear yes. Heavenly Father. We just want to say praise your holy name, dear yes, Heavenly Lord. Father. Lord, we thank you this evening and pray that you will move your huge and healing hand and yes. heal the sick. Yes. Heal those, dear Heavenly Father, who are without resources. Heal those, the Heavenly yes. Father, who elect to squander their resources, Lord. Lord, you know that it is you, the Heavenly Father, that gives us all of our needs, Lord. You brought us from such a long ways, Lord. And look at us now, the Heavenly Father. We are a blessed people. Lord, we have above average intelligence. We have rhythm, the Heavenly Father. Yes. We participate in sports, the Heavenly Father. And it's not running from old master. Lord, we just want to say thank you this evening and pray your continued blessing upon our children, dear Heavenly Father. For we need you, dear Heavenly Father. 
We pray a special blessing for those who are affected by the earthquakes, by the floods, dear Heavenly Father, by the severe heat, dear Heavenly Father. We just need you, dear Heavenly Father, because you're able. Lord, we just want to say thank you this evening and praise your holy name. Be with us, dear Heavenly Father, as we travel this difficult journey. Sometimes, dear Heavenly Father, the road gets crooked. At least we make it crooked, Lord, because we won't follow your word. Yeah. Lord, teach us to follow your word and to love each other, dear Heavenly Father, as you've loved us. Lord, yeah. love is the way of life. Yeah. Lord, bless our president and our vice president and all of our government, dear Heavenly Father. Yeah. Bless the government of the state of Alabama. Bless those, dear Heavenly Father, who would restrict us from the rights that we have gained and people have died for, dear Heavenly Father. Yeah. Lord, heal them, dear Heavenly Father. Give our strength to our former president, dear Heavenly Father, so that he may understand that you're God and that all things are possible, dear Heavenly Father. Lord, bless each and every one that may be listening to me, dear Heavenly Father. Bless my family. Bless my children, dear Heavenly Father. Bless my grandchildren, dear Heavenly Father. Give us the strength to just continue on in your precious name. These and other blessings we continue to ask in our son Jesus' name. Amen. Time is filled with swift transition. Not a verb unmoved can stand.
to his hand. Yes, God's change. Everybody ought to hold to his hand. Yes, God change in hand. You ought to feel your wolves on things. You ought to hold to God's son. Well, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that it within me. Bless his holy name, who forgiveth all of our iniquities, who healeth all of our diseases. It's prayer time. Pray for our nation. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for our youth. Pray for this land. Pray for our sick. Pray for Sister Martha Horton that's in the hospital. And request our prayers and Brother Troy Bishop and Sister Willie Mae Friesen and Brother Cody and Sister Early David and Jonathan, her son, Reverend Hugh Shamley, Sister Hazel Harris, Brother Solomon Robinson, Brother Lester White, Brother Willie James Spencer, Sister Cena Lewis, Sister Isabel Sullivan, Sister Eulatine Burton, Brother Roy Swift, Brother James Henderson, Brother Dooley, Dudley Morton, Sister Addie Green, Sister Ola Bailey, Sister Retta Barnes, Brother Charles Merriweather, Sister Burdell Bostic, Sister Norma Cook, Brother Edward Day Sr., Sister Angela Edwards, Sister Marie and Edward Fernandez, Brother Matthew and Sister Amethia Foster, Sister Valentina Green, Sister Rosalie Howard, Brother Eric Jones, Sister Annie McCarthy, Sister Annie McMath, Sister Hattie McMullen, Sister Susan Nelson, Brother Nathaniel Short, Brother Clifford Spencer, Sister Brother Stacy Thomas, Brother Clarence Tinker, Sister Bertha Wallace, Sister Brenda Washington, Sister Beatrice White, Brother Percy White, Sister May Willie Williams, Brother Sam Wilson, Sister Linda Wilson, Brother Jamea White, Sister Catherine Somerville, and thank God for Brother Barry Shamley is doing good. Praise God for his, for his miracle working power, for his miracle working And you know somebody standing in the need of prayer. I believe in the miracle working power of God. I've seen him work miracles. He worked miracles. He heals. He delivers. He will set you free. Free from whatever you're going through. Your worries, your fears, your depression. He's able to do it. Father, we thank you. You have given us a sound mind. Thank you for a sound mind. Power. Power. The Holy Spirit moving in us. Thank you for Jesus. That blood that Jesus shed in Calvary. And we are covered under your blood. Thank you for the atonement that your finished work at Calvary. Oh God, you forgive us all of our iniquities, all of our sins. I've been perpetuated at Calvary. Thank you for healing all of our diseases. Oh God, we lifted your people to you today. Thank you that you want us to prosper. We speak abundant life, prosperity, and our souls prosper. Have mercy upon us according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out all of our transgressions, creating us clean hearts. Renew the right spirit within us. Bless the choir that they the choir workshop this, this week, oh God, that you would let us sing, making melodies in our hearts unto you, knowing it's you who came from Shekinah glory. From the throne of heaven glory to the cross of sin and shame. You did come to die a ransom, guilty sinners to reclaim. We've been reclaimed, we've been renewed, oh, we've been delivered. You delivered us from the power of darkness and you translated us into your glorious light as we walk in the light. Teach us to worship you in spirit and in truth. That your power, your fire from on high will come and be in this place, you said the fire should never go out. It should always be burning on the altar. And we come tonight to hear your word because your word is a lamp to our feet, light to our path. Your word is healing. By your stripes, these people we call, they're healed. What miracles in life? What miracles, Lord? Regulate blood pressure, heart disease, 
Move thy beaches in the name of Jesus. Oh, rap, 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 oh, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You are able, you are able to supply every need in Jesus' name. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him. Oh, Jesus is on the main. You ought to tell him. Oh, Jesus is on. You ought to tell him. You just call him up and tell him. Oh, if you need your body healed. Oh, if you need your body here, you ought to tell him. Yes, if you need your body here, you ought to tell him. You just call him up and tell him. Oh, call him up. Tell him, yeah, call him up, call him. You ought to tell him what you, you just call him up and tell him. Oh, Jesus is on the main line, tell him, yeah. This on the glory to God. Oh, Jesus is on the main glory to God. Oh, call him up. Praise God all over this place. Knows our bush audio. This is a house of prayer. I thank God for. His miracle working power. His miracle working power. On Saturday, the bright future at 11 o'clock. Is it this Saturday? It's canceled this Saturday. It's next month, next month, next third Saturday. In October will be a busy month for us. Our conference, we're going to call it prayer conference this year, will be the third and fourth. That's after the first Sunday. That's Tuesday and Wednesday after the first Sunday. Yeah. Uh, teachers meeting each. For our church school every Wednesday at 5 o'clock here in this sanctuary, our Sunday school is growing. Uh, we have uh, class 10, the young adult class, and our youth, and uh, the numbers are growing. Thank you so much. We pray for the choir. It's a choir workshop, and they're going to do excellent, excellent, excellent throughout the years. Excellent. There will be a Zoom meeting uh, for our women auxiliary president, Sister Linda Burton, tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. And uh, the Zoom meeting ID, that you get the ID, Jonathan, that you get the ID to go on the stream, uh, ID 833-874-6231, password 892427. I know you're not going to remember that, so let me keep on reading it right. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let us let us do our promise from Second Corinthians 9, 17. God will do his part, we will do our part. Some of the promises are conditional. God will do his part. He said, but and 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 we're sowing, you're sowing. You don't have to sow or do it, do you want my seed? You just sow the seed, right? Then you look for a harvest. And that's how it is with giving. You don't yes. You don't go out there and say and tell the sower, all you want is my seed. You better put the seed in the soil if you're gonna get if you're gonna get a harvest, right? And that's how it is with the Lord. Come on, let's do it. But this I say, he which soweth. Sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. What that's saying, some people don't have much because they don't give much. Y'all help me. Some people don't have much because they don't what? Give much. And you give sparingly, you reap sparingly, you get bountifully, you reap bountifully. But it's from the heart. Come on. Every man according as he prefers in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. 
For God loveth a cheerful giver. So giving it from where? The heart. In fact, everything we do for God comes from the from the heart. From the heart. Yeah, we sing. Quite sing. He said, speak to yourselves, then sing. We'll talk about that. And then uh, uh, and God is able. Come on, here, here come to here come here comes here. then God takes over. We do our part. God takes over. Look what God does. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you. That ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Second Corinthians 19. Now he that minister seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sowing, and increase the fruit of your righteousness. God bless you. Just delight for see all of us who need a who need a book. Sister Pretty, you need a book, don't you? Come on, get you. Just come, come, yeah. Anybody else new? Thank you. You need the promise book and the, and the study book, study guide. Okay, we, we're looking at faith, and we, and we have discovered that faith is really what we. Faith is really what we do. Welcome, Sister Deborah back. She's been all out in Vegas and all. I can't, I try to keep hands on her and Kathy. Y'all doing the counting break this night? Okay. Okay. Uh, faith is what we do. Uh, we said, first of all, we, we talked about we talked about uh, worship and worship. Once you're saved, you you do what? Worship. In fact, you. In fact, when you're born, man is a worship of being. You're gonna worship somebody if it's just yourself. But God, but God deserves all of our worship. God deserves all of our worship. Worship. And and how do we worship? Be the truth, but how did Abel worship? By faith. He, he did it the way God said do it. How did Cain do it? No, Cain didn't do it by faith. Cain did it his way. His way. How did Abel do it? By faith. He did it the way. Faith is doing it the way God said to him. So, so if you say you got faith and don't do anything, is that faith? No. No, he did it. God, God requires of God requires first. What did God want first? Yourself. Like at, in uh, church at Philippi, they first gave themselves to the Lord, and then everything else falls in place once you get yourself. Cain gave himself. He gave the what first, and he gave the what best. You ought to do your best in worship. Your best. Doing it God's way. And you said it right, spirit and in truth, spirit and in truth. Jesus said the words I speak, they are spirit, they are truth, they are true. Worship. Uh, worship. Uh, why didn't Cain do it, do, it, do it by faith? Read, read phrase John sometimes because he was wicked. It takes a wicked person to, to go contrary to God. That that one talent man, why did why didn't he why didn't he produce it? Why didn't he give anything? You know, in the twenty fifth chapter of uh, uh, of uh, Matthew, he somebody say it loud. He was wicked. It takes a wicked person not to follow God. Man, all that God, Jesus said, Jesus said he was wicked and slothful. That's right, wicked. It takes a wicked person. Okay. Uh, Cain was of that wicked one. He just, he just, he, he just did it his way. Did you know it? it's a way to worship? You know that it's a way to worship. In fact, it it has to be from the from the where. And then I'm gonna talk about it. Then you have to first speak to you who yourselves. So speak to you. You have tried to worship. You're not speaking to somebody next to you. What what did God do? How God handle that? Not handling that at all. Because you, you have to be, you, it first started with who? Self. Self. And, and then the fellowship. That's what, that why the early church grew so, grew so much. They, they, they continued in the teaching of the, of the word and they, and they fellowship. They got along with one another. One another. That's how, 
yes, speak to yourselves with psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, then make melody unto your heart, unto the Lord. It's from the heart. So, okay. God had respect to Abel because he did it right. He, God requires a blood sacrifice for worship. Worship. You can never come into the presence of God without blood. Blood. Even God did that when he, when he, when he covered it. When he covered uh, uh, Adam with skins of animal, what had to happen to that animal? I had to die with. And Hebrew chapter nine picked up without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. And then we walked. How did Nina? How did Nina walk? By faith. He walked the way God wanted him to walk. He walked with God. He didn't go. He walked with God. With God, he went God's way. There is a way that seems right to a man, but the end there are, are the ways of what? Death. He walked God's way. Let me tell you, put it this way. I'm from the country. It's impossible to ride two horses going in the opposite direction at the same time. <laughs> impossible, huh? Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, both of them, you're going to ride both of them, you got to be going, they got to be going the same way. So if you're going to please God, you got to go the way God going. You got, you must go the way God is going. And, and you know, walked with God. And, and he tells us in Ephesians, Ephesians, when you read the book of Ephesians, tells us number one to walk out worthy of the profession. Walk in what? Love. Walk as children of light. Walk circumspectly. Light. One thing about light, light always goes in a straight path. You ever seen a crooked light? No, you've never seen a zigzagging light. You've seen some blanking light, flashing light. But light's always, light would always go in a straight path. And circumspectly, let's circle me around, spec me, look. What that's saying, be careful how you walk. Then we talk about work. Noah, I'm, I'm going to zoom in. What that, he, that Hebrew writer in the 11th chapter of, of, uh, of Hebrew would take one verse and sum up f three or four chapters. He, uh, we said Noah worked. Work, work. And we on and I'm gonna zoom in on that tonight. I'm gonna to come. He worked. Like I said, uh, by faith the walls of Jericho fell. Took some chapters, but that but in that third verse of Hebrews eleven, one verse, by faith Rahab, Rahab uh hid the spies and uh, and because she now when no men went to y'all didn't pick that up, did you? They went to her house. She hid them. Now, dope wasn't the first man who went there. That was her business, men coming to her house. Y'all didn't pick that up, did you? So, so Dick, you picked it up? She was used to men coming to her house. She make, that's how she made her living. She was a holler. She was a prostitute. But when old men came, guess what? She saw her different than old men. She said to the old men, I know your God. I know, I heard about your God. You all are godly people. You know when somebody sees you, they don't see you as being godly. Amen. Because of those men, she said, I haven't heard about your God. I heard how he, what he's done for you. And she didn't try to entice those men and make any money off. She just took those, she, she, took, she took on those men God. Hear them. She did. We're going to look at that. Y'all did pick it up, didn't you? And, and guess what? I'm going to just show it to you. Show it to you. Even though, what God can do. Turn to Matthew chapter 1, verse 5. Rahab, look at Rahab. What faith would do, what faith would do. Matthew 1, 5, Matthew 1, 5. It's on the screen, come on. And Simon begot Boaz of who? Rahab. And Boaz begot Obed of Ruth. And Obed begot Jesse. And, and it goes on, Jesse begot who? David. And Jesus said, Son of David, seed of Abraham. Y'all see what I'm getting at? That woman, Rahab, got into the, she became the great, 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 great grandmother of Jesus. Not a church in town would have that, but I'm glad y'all not God. God is God. God can take you, God can take you from where he wants you to be and make you what he, she became, she became the great grandfather of, of our, great grandmother of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this holler. Because she turned to who? By faith. It's your faith that you put in God. Let me tell you what God has done. 
Jesus has atoned for all of your sins at Calvary. The wrath of God. Jesus took the wrath of God for you. You don't have to take the wrath of God. Jesus took it for you, but you got to do what? Put your faith in what he's already done. I've, I've been preaching that in revival. It's already done. It's already done. He, when did he save you? Before the foundation of the world. He had already atoned. He, yeah, uh, he, uh, Ephesians 1, 4 said he chose us in him when? before the foundation of the world that we should be a holy and without blame before him in love. You, that makes you shout right there. He's already chosen. And, and how long how long he going to keep you? Because he goes on down and says he's predestined. He, got, he knows your destiny. He got eternity in you. He, he has put eternity. When you put your faith in the finished work at Calvary, that's why we preach Christ and him crucified. It's Satan and the rock so bad of us to sleep. We don't talk about Calvary until Easter Sunday morning. Yeah, Dr. McKean Carter said that folks not listen, listen to it then. That's a showtime for a lot of people. You know, they, they've been shopping. They sound like analyzing it. They've been shopping. They said, okay, I'm, I'm getting off. I'm getting off. But I want you to see that. What God, what, let me tell you, don't, do not be, do not, do not, do not be described by your past. Please. Yeah, God has erased your past. And if anybody bring up your past, that's the devil. And where the devil belong? And, and I want you to say, send him back where? To hell. <laughs> that's why God made the pit for, 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 for the devil and his angels. And, 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 and he's, he's, he's determined to take as many folks to hell with him as he can because Matthew 25, 41, he made the devil, he made hell for the devil and his Lucifer. Lucifer brought up, Lucifer was the, was the, Lucifer, Lucifer was the choir leader up there. He was the worship leader. I require me to raise your hand. I thank you. Lucifer was the, Lucifer was the, the worship leader in heaven. He was the worship leader. Yes, he was. And what God means, what the stirred, he's in heaven. And, 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 and Michael, the archangel, kicked him out. God kicked him out. His name was Lucifer. He, would, he wasn't treated the devil. He was treated in beauty. He was treated in perfection. Y'all got my three points on there. The devil was treated in perfection. He was corrupted by pride. I'm going to exalt myself. I'm going to. Read it, read it sometime in Isaiah, Isaiah 14. I'm going to be God. I'm going to lift myself above God. I'm going to, I, I, I. And he, and, and he got kicked out of heaven. He was consigned to the, he was consigned to the pit. Y'all got those three points? He was created in perfection. He was corrupted by pride. And he'd been consigned to the pit. He got kicked out. And when I read the book of Job, I don't know how he, I don't know how he got back up there. <laughs> yeah, y'all read the book of Job, right? Sons of God went to present themselves before God. Satan was among them. Satan was among them. God asked him, what? When, when come and die? He said, I'm just, oh, all I'm doing is just going through and throw the earth. That's all he said. That's all he said. He didn't say, that's all he said. It was Peter who uncovered his hand. First Peter 5 tells us to be vigilant. Be sober, because your adversary, the devil, goes through and fro, seeking whom he may devour. You got to know the tricks of the devil. You got to know the tricks of the devil. You got to know. But what? But now, what got me was how many, how many requirements he brought with him? A third of them. One devil. Don't y'all let one devil tell up everything. <laughs> one devil brought a third of them. And then Isaiah 5, y'all read Isaiah 5, right? See, Satan is busy. He's trying to take as many folks to hell as he can. He, he, the Bible said in Isaiah 5, hell, as, hell hath enlarged itself. And Satan, and, and you read over in Revelation, that Satan knows his time is limited, so he gets, he gets more uh, ferocious. He, yeah, he, go, he going more and more through and, through and through. Every time you come to worship, Satan shows up. Know the devil. Judah was a devil, and Jesus knew he was a devil. You got to know the devil. 
You got to know the devil now. You got to know the devil. You, you can handle it better. Yeah, Nicola Teen, those Jesus had twelve apostles. One of them was the devil. The early, how many, how many people they set aside to serve those tables in in in, in uh, Acts chapter six? Seven, and one of them was the devil. You know who he was? Nicholas. Yeah, Nicholas. Bible Revelation kept saying, "Beware of that doctrine of Nicholas Teen." Yeah, yeah. Doctor Manuel Scott said, the "Devil, the devil just gonna show up. He shows up." He shows up. He's he like an icicle. You can't move him. He shows up. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm getting off. Come on. Go, go, to, go to, let's look at it over in, because we want to show you how Noah, Noah worked. Chapter, chapter 6, Genesis, chapter 6. Genesis, chapter 6. Let's start at verse 5, Genesis chapter 6. Let's start at verse 5. Because I want to show you, by faith Noah built that ark, but he had to, but faith is doing it, faith is really doing what God says what? Do. Faith is really doing what God says do. So I want to look at it. One verse over, I think that's that six verse over in Hebrews, uh, seven verse, seven verse talk about how Noah be a, come on let's start at verse five and God saw that the wickedness of men were great in the earth and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continued there where was the evil in the heart God knows the heart that's why that's why David prayed to the Lord creating me a what clean heart and renew the right spirit when you got a clean heart let me tell you Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Second, Second Chronicles 16, 9 said, The eyes of the Lord runneth through and through the whole earth to find somebody with a perfect heart that he can show himself strong on his behalf. When you got a per blessing will overtake you. Blessing, God come looking for you. With God. God loves the heart. And then uh, what Proverbs Proverbs 15, 3 said, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good and the uh, evil. The good and the evil. Creating me a clean heart. That, that's of your prayer. Treating, and, clean, and pure means unmixed. 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 You can't mix. Uh, everything, everything mixed doesn't blend. Right? That's the that's the problem with integration. We got them mixed, but they're not. No, they're not blending. No. If I took all y'all to a, if they got, if they got, if they got this many of the other other rays in there, most of y'all gonna congregate together. You mix it in that room, but you don't blend. They got some tables. Most of y'all go, to, most y'all go to the table trying to look like you. Have y'all noticed that? We mix, but we don't. We not blend, and and, uh, and and tell you the truth. I I'm not gonna say that, but when I look at that, when I look at Trump, no, come on, taking our country, making our country great again. He talking about un. That what he, yeah, that what he talking about. Yeah, the man been impeached two times. The man been indicted four times. And I hear some of those other evangelical people talking about. You're pushing him. And then some of y'all go set up in our church. I'm, I'm going on from that. But <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I know, I'm, I know I'm right about that. Go set up, think you better set up around them. Mm -hmm, don't look at me like that. Yeah. I'm telling the truth. Okay, okay, let's look at it. Come on. Look at it. verse 6. And he repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. You know, God got a heart. God has a heart. God has feeling. God has feeling. God feels. God, the reason why we say right now is God feels compassionate for us. God, 
loves us. God loves you. God has feeling. But God, it repented, it grieved God that he had made man on the, because, let me tell you, everything, look at it. God made the birds, what did they do? Make a free concert in the trees. You, you ever seen birds flying? They fly in a triangle. They always got, a, and, and the tip of the triangle is the leader. And they're going to always do what? Follow that leader. And if one of those birds fall, that whole group going to stop. Okay. What I'm saying, they, gonna, they love one another. They, gonna do, they love one another. They're going to do what? God made the cloud. What the clouds do? Give rain. Give rain. That, that's right. I can, I can go on down the line. If everything God made will do exactly what God says do. Man. <laughs> man. Yeah, man. That's why it's in the heart. I'm, come on. Come on. Yeah. We're going to do what he said do, right? We're going to wish we're going to do what he said. Yeah. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both men and beasts and creeping thing and the fowls of the air. For it pities me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. That's it, grace. Unmerited favor. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Sometime read it in, in, in over in Second Peter, I think it's uh, two five somewhere somewhere in Second Peter uh, one two five. Now Noah was not a first Second Peter two five. Noah was a preacher of righteousness. I know I know y'all call him a flood preacher. No, he was not a flood. He was a Peter said he was a preacher of righteousness. Okay, look at look at Noah. Noah found how we say. By grace are you saved through faith. And that please, and that not of your self. It is a gift from God. How about Rahab say, by grace through faith is a gift from God. The person who lectured with me the other night, I never I, I didn't think of that. I had never thought of that. He was he was a good lecturer, Jones. He was a good lecturer. Do my Mariah Church in, in Tulera. And he said, uh, when God told Abraham to go take his son and, and, and offer him as a burnt offering, Abraham got the knife on the third day, got, went to the worship place, and, he, and, and Ab was Abraham going to really kill his son? Yes. Why? Because he had faith that if he killed Isaac, God would do what? Raise him from the dead. But the point that, that with Reverend Jones made, he said, what did, know, what did Abraham know about resurrection? There had never been a resurrection. But let me tell you something. God can, when you give God your heart and have faith in God, God can reveal some stuff in your heart you never thought of. I was telling the teacher, somebody asked, the great, great, one of our greatest evangelists, great, great preacher, he could do it, Dr. E.B. Hill, somebody asked him, which, which seminary did, did you graduate from? He preached all across the world. Which seminary you, you, you graduated from? You know what he asked? You know what the answer was? I didn't graduate, I didn't go to a seminary. I teach at them. And, and you ever heard him? What a, pull him up sometime. Pull him up on, on YouTube. What a preacher he is. What a preacher he is. What a preacher he is. And someone said to him, said, you said you're too shallow. You don't, you're not deep. He said, well, fish don't swim in deep water. I catch more fish in shallow water. Every time they came out, every time they tried to come after, you know when <laughs> he had an answer to, okay. But look at Noah. These are the generation of Noah. These are the generation of Noah. Noah was what kind of man? A just man. How did he get, how did he get just? By faith. We are, how are we justified? That word just means, the root word is just, just, the whole word is justified. How did we get justified? By faith. By faith are we justified? Yeah, we, yeah that's over in Roman 5, right? Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God. We're justified by, by you working, trying to be good? No, by faith. Martin, Martin Luther tried all he could to live a perfect life. He even abused himself. He's a monk in the, in the, in the, in, in the uh, monastery. And uh, he's a monk. And then until he read 
The just shall live by faith. Living, he loved us. Dying, he saved us. Buried, he took our sins away. Rising, he justified us. Ascending, he, he's interceding for us. And one day, he's coming back for us. And our job is just to keep, okay, I'm getting off. Noah was a just man and what? Perfect in his generation. And Noah did what? Walk with God. He wasn't the only, no, wasn't the only one. Noah walked with God. He went to that. He went the same direction God was going. Go in God's direction. Don't just follow that crowd. Walk with God. Come on. The earth was also corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah. Now, See, God will talk to you if you walk. You've got to be walking with him. But uh, who was it said it? That prophet, Amos 3 and 3. What did Amos say? Can two, a walk, can two walk together except there be a dreed? Amos, read it sometime. Amos 3 and 3. For you to walk with him, you got to agree. Can two walk together? So he agreed with God. Let me tell you. Agree with God if it breaks your heart. Even when you're wrong, still agree with God. Tell God, God, I'm wrong. One of our youth, one of our youth came in the office of the other and said, I'm trying to do right, but I said, I'm, I'm finding a hard time. I'm trying to. I said, Well, you're going to make it. Did you say, Would you say, What, Reverend? I said, you're going to make it if you're trying to do it. I said, But well, lean on the Lord to help you do it because, because you can never do it by yourself. You can never. It's only. Only through the strength of God. That, that young person came in and told me that. I said, I said you're going to make it. And, and I said, guess what? You're going to go high in life because, because you realize you realize you got some failures. You realize you got some things you got to work on. And then he looked at me straight. I said, let me tell you something. I got a whole lot of stuff I'm working on too. <laughs> he said, what? I said, yeah. Okay. And I know y'all not working on a thing. Y'all just as perfect as y'all want to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, okay. Uh, go to the Go to now. Here come. Here come to work. Noah. We see that Noah got faith. Here he, he what God tells him to do. Go down the voice. Go down the voice. Uh, Fourteen. God tells Noah, make me an ark. Go for wood. Room shall I make in the ark, and ship pitch it within and without with pitch and this is the fashion which thou shalt make of it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits the breadth of it 50 cubits the height of it 30 cubits a wonder shall thou make to the ark and in a cubit shall thou finish it above and the door of the ark shall thou set in the side of the ark with lower second and third story Shall I make it? God had telling them, now, if Noah had changed that architecture with growing it out, would God been satisfied with him? No, you got to do it exactly the way God said. Let's go down. You can read the rest of it when you get home. But go down, go down the end. Go down, go down to verse 21. And take thy unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee and for them. Look, but here comes, here comes the faith. Now God told him the, the prescription. God told him exactly how to do it. Here comes the, here comes the, the thunder right here. Come on, verse, verse 22. Thus did Noah according to all that God commanded him, so did he. He did how much of it? All. all. He did all of it. And then he, and then he closed out. So did he. He did it the way God says do it. You got to do it the way God said. He worked the way God. That's faith. Faith is doing it the way God said do it. And I'm, I'm going to stop. Because there's a, way to, there's a way to worship. There's a way to walk with God. There's a way to sing. I say we don't sing about mom and dad. We, there's a way to sing. There's a way to walk. There's a way to work for God. 
But, but we do it because we're what? Already saved. God, your sins have been atoned for. Yeah. Who would have taken who would have taken Rahab? Who would what they what y'all would say about some this modern Rahab would keep on bringing Rahab past her, wouldn't it? And here she is, the mother, great grandmother of our Lord Jesus Christ. Another thing I'm gonna tell you about when you read the Old Testament, the Old Testament talks about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Get to the New Testament, it talks about Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We, we wish the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God can reveal some stuff. And I, and I thought about that. Where did where Abraham had never heard about a resurrection? I'm going to ask you this. Noah preached that it's going to rain. Did Noah know anything about rain? No. It, it never rained. That's why the folks thought he was foolish. Like we preach about Jesus is coming back again. And 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 you know, in Second Peter talking about where the hope of his coming. And Peter had to let him know a thousand years is just one day on God's calendar. God doesn't count time when we count time. I'm, I'm finished. Any question come in. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you all for, for being here tonight. What a joy it is. What a joy it is to see all of you. God bless you. We have 63 here tonight. Thank you so much. Six to three. God bless you. God bless you. God. Going to open the doors of the church. That those here tonight never confess Jesus. Those in our virtual audience. Salvation has come to all mankind and not by what you have done. It's about the finished work of Jesus at Calvary. And Jesus takes your past and put it behind you and makes you a brand new person. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Have you got good religion? Certainly, Lord. Have you got good religion? Certainly. Have you got good religion? The door of the church is open. Oh, certainly. Come unto Jesus. Have you been converted? Have you been converted? Have you been converted? Oh, certainly, certainly, certainly. Have you been baptized? Have you been baptized? Have you been baptized? Oh, certainly, certainly. Oh, certainly, Lord. Oh, certainly, Lord. Oh, certainly, Lord. Certainly, certainly. God bless you. God bless you. Let us get our leaders for next time. Prayer leaders for next time. Come on. Break it out the way to quiet. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's. This is lavender. Okay. Song leaders, song leaders, song leaders, song leaders. Okay, so today, okay, scriptures. Okay, good. Have you been to the waters? Have you been to the water? Have you been to the water? Oh, certainly, certainly. Have you got good religion? Have you got good religion? Have you got good religion? Certainly. Oh, certainly, certainly. Father, we thank you for so great salvation. Thank you that we're secure. Thank you we are covered under the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Ghost that moved up and down in us. Thank you for put eternity in our heart, treating us clean heart. Let us lead this place, walking in your blessings, knowing that we're in your presence. In the name of Jesus, bless every soul, and we give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. I love every one of you. God bless you. Have you got good religion? Have you got? Have you got good religion? Sign less, sign